Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we will come to know about what it takes to prepare the operation theater. So this is my operation theater at Dr. Aloka's eye care. Now regarding the eye surgeries, eye is a very very sensitive organ and here it's very important for us in as surgeons to take care of extreme asepsis and cleanliness when it considers eye surgeries. Now the steps start right before surgery. So before surgery we get blood tests done for all patients to rule out any kind of infection inside the body. Body infections can also spread sometimes to the eye and therefore we need to be very careful to rule out any kind of infections in the adult or the child. Next step would be to make sure that everything is planned properly for the surgery unless the surgery is like on an emergency basis in cases of trauma most of the ophthal surgeries are very planned elective surgeries so to have a planning and a list of things that we require for the surgery beforehand is very useful to make sure that there is less chaos on the day of the procedure now it is important for us to make sure that the surgeon the entire operation theater team and the anesthetist team is in sync regarding the procedure. We also make sure that none of the team members are unwell so that infections don't spread in the OR. The anesthetist and the OR team together, we make sure to limit the number of people inside the operation theater to avoid any infection spread. So maximum three to four members will be found inside the operation theater. Now before the surgery on a daily basis, this entire operation theater undergoes something known as fumigation. Fumigation is a procedure in which gaseous uh, chemicals are used to nullify the effect of all microbes. So fumigation takes place on a daily basis. Operation theatres are equipped with UV lights. Now these are UV lamps and these lights also give additional asepsis. Every day we run it for 10 to 15 minutes. Along with that we have something known as laminar flow which makes sure that the air which circulates over the operation table here is kept clean and filtered. Before the surgery when the, pay, when the OR team scrubs we uh, spend at least 10 minutes in various uh, methods of hand scrubbing. This is according to the WHO guidelines for hand hygiene and uh, all the steps of the procedure are followed by every member of the team who scrubs and comes inside. Of course, we make sure that everything else like the instruments which are used the machinery which is used, everything undergoes a very strict protocol of sterilization uh, and in this uh, we use autoclaves. Autoclave is another method in which uh, steam sterilization happens to all the equipment which is used in the operation theatre. Along with the equipment which is used, even things like scopes, lenses are all autoclaved. Some of the materials that we use are completely disposable. So these are one time use and throw materials and these are never reused again in the operation theater. Making sure that the team is very very efficient uh, to take care of surgical materials. We ensure that all the team members are adequately trained and Continuous training programs happen to make sure that uh, everybody knows how to deal with operation uh, theater equipments. Anytime if any of the machinery breaks down, then downtime is kept minimal and immediate replacement of material happens to make sure that we give utmost safety to our patients. Along with this, of course, post-operative antibiotic usage also has kept operations uh, in, uh, uh, in adults and children now 
very very safe with minimal risk of infections please follow the protocols which are told by your doctors and also make sure to be free to ask any questions to your medical team if you have any doubts about the infection risk in eye surgeries in procedures like squint procedures which is what i majorly do these surgeries are extra ocular surgeries which means they are done on the outer layer of the eyeball and therefore they have minimal to no risk of infections still all the protocols are rigidly followed to make sure no infections happen in any patient operated by us thank you